Another set of helpful features that come with most code editors are snippets and autocomplete. So default snippets are chunks of code that are stored within a code editor somewhere in its configuration files and allows you to type a few words and usually hit tab and see the entire snippet of code appear. While it's possible to create your own snippets, we'll be leveraging packages that will provide these snippets for us in addition to the ones that come by default within Atom. Now we also get autocomplete by default, which is pretty strong within Atom and can help us out a lot when we're coding. So let's take a look briefly at some snippets and autocomplete inside of Atom. Okay, one of the easiest snippets to show you in Atom is not actually with JavaScript, but if I create a new demo.html file and I simply type HTML and hit tab and notice that Adam is even telling me this in its um, autocomplete help here. It's saying, okay, if you hit HTML and press tab, this is the hint for tab, you're going to get a snippet of HTML. And you could see it gave us exactly that and it bumped the cursor down right into the title here, into this block that automatically creates the basic HTML you'd need for an HTML page. So this is an example of a snippet. Again, I'll show you that one more time. We just type HTML, hit tab. And how do you know what snippets are available? Well, you could go through the list and look at them, but later we'll add some packages in the next video that will give us a bunch of snippets that are really helpful for our JavaScript, and we'll have some documentation to figure out and remember all of the short snippet uh, code that you type before hitting tab. So that is an example of a snippet. Let's look at some autocomplete here. So notice if I come down into my editor file here and I just begin typing the word editor, it will automatically bring up the word editor here and I can simply hit enter to complete the word. And then likewise, if I were to be calling a function, let's say I wanted to call update content or update title, notice that it tells us, okay, this is a function here and you could simply call that. Now it doesn't tell you that you actually need to call editor dot update content. So it's a little bit misleading there, but it is helpful um, with your own stuff. Likewise, if I was to start working with some default JavaScript, notice that if I were to begin typing document get element by ID to select something, I could type get and I would see get element. And as I begin typing more, it will it will begin whittling down the different option so get editor title see these are functions that I've already defined but we could see early on if I start with get elements by class name you could see get get element by ID so this is also telling us that we have short codes or snippets here sort of some snippet auto completes where we could type get I or get N or get T and hit tab and get elements by tag name, ID, etc. So something that's really helpful and as you're working in a code editor or IDE, you just want to keep your eyes open for all of these options here and the hints that they're giving you since these autocomplete options can help you typing your code a lot faster and miss some of the mistakes about spelling and other things because it's going to autocomplete the correct function name or um, variable for example for you. So that's just a very basic introduction to snippets and autocomplete. And as I mentioned, we'll look more at snippets later in the next video as we discuss packages to extend Atom and autocomplete as we're going and adding new features. It will also become more powerful what it is able to do.